All right, <clears throat> so this is a little bit of film I'm going to show you here of the Shokov Power Station number two, um, northernmost outlet discharge unit. Um, this is where a great deal of water, thousands of gallons uh, per second, coming out through the bottom of this here. Uh, before it would come out the bottom of this, it went through turbines and generators above that in a space further up, about another 15, uh, 20 feet up. There were, I think, six generators, turbines up there. This whole thing was put in in the uh, mid-1880s. And this is the only one of the discharge chambers, and there were three main ones that are still, that's still um, visible. And accept and accessible. Though I really would say uh, to anybody who comes here not to come into this room really because of uh, it's a little dangerous in here. So uh, that's why I'm filming this for you, for everybody, so that they can see what it is like in, instead. Look at the size of some of these blocks. This is all local stone. This is my hand for comparison. You can see an excavator hole here. Some of the original um, mortar work. You can see how careful they were with this work, even though it's a discharge chamber, purely utilitarian. They, they actually took the time to smooth these out and uh, make and make these walls as durable as possible uh, because again they really built to last so and underneath this it appears to be a uh, a very shallow shallow ceiling there's a a large circular uh, structure in the middle there it appears to be some sort of support unit, but it's, it's, it's hollow going back to the left and to the right and further back. So, you know, there's some bottles and other things down there. It looks like people have been hanging out in, in this area for quite some time, of course. I wouldn't be surprised if people use this, uh, use these chambers, or this one in particular, uh, during, the, during times like the Great Depression and other periods. Uh, wouldn't be surprised at all if people slept in here, lived in here for stretches at a time, and uh, certainly a number of uh, homeless people in the city probably use this on occasion too. Um, so now we're going to leave. Out into the openness. That's the river there. Okay, and the Rainbow Bridge is over there to the south. That's some of the wall here. That's a big chunk of the wall, the, the support wall right there. That dropped off from up there, probably. Here's the outside of the arch. There's some of the wooden, two of the wooden pinnings that uh, kept the, kept everything behind it together. Looks what well, looks like a tar barrel, or a, a barrel, anyways, right there, and a couple of other heating drums, oil drums, and then another inspection, a closer inspection here of the uh, mortar imprints from the brick that used to be here. Uh, that all dropped away from this area. It's way, way down there now. Uh, but as you proceed along the arch, you can still see um, the keystone right there. That's the keystone right in the middle, made of a mixture of uh, concrete and other bricks that were uh, made differently to, to form collectively the keystone for the brick part of this arch. You can see some of the brick trending north, poking out, out the side of the key, keystone. Out the southern end, you see this 
these three layers of brick, one, two, three, married over each other and trending down way, 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 way down. This, this whole arch continues way, way down. The floor level is, is even below this dirt that you see in there. It's probably another three or four feet or so to you get the actual bottom, the original bottom of the uh, chamber. It's probably lined with stone along the bottom as well, but you just can't see it now. You have the uh, last of the original silt and dirt from when this place last operated in the 1890s, uh, late 1890s, early 1900s. Um, yeah, it was about 1912 or so when this was when this was shut down, when the power station here was shut down, and uh, because it was replaced by what is uh, what became uh, Sholkov Power Station Number Three, which is the famous Sholkov Power Station that people now visit uh, safely, because its old elevator shaft was reconditioned, and uh, the May the Mist boat storage is out that way too. So you can always let yourself down into the gorge right there, off of the parking lot near the Discovery Center and check out that massive station. Uh, most of that is, is much more obvious. Uh, though it's in ruins too, a lot of it is much more recognizable than, than what's left of this. This is really uh, one of the first uh, power stations in the world really to do what it did. Uh, but it ran off of, uh, it, it produced, I should say, uh, direct current power. Uh, this never ran alternating current. This was before Nikola Tesla's time. Uh, and so Therefore, remnants like these are becoming har harder and harder to find. Anything pre-Tesla is a little difficult to find in any real condition that you can recognize what was what was here, so uh, or what was there, I should say. So there you go.